Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have so much exciting Barbie stuff. We have new pictures of Margot Robbie on set with a slaying fire look as Barbie. We got to talk about that. And we have a new Barbie extra doll exclusive in a five pack and just so much to go over. So let's get into so, it. Thanks to AJ Roberts 2K on Instagram. We have our first look at Margot Robbie in one of her many, I'm sure, Barbie outfits in a new Barbie live action movie coming next year in july now this is they are filming in uh, long beach california this is where um he lives as well and apparently there was also some kind of car chase so we'll get to that in a second but first up let's talk about the fit girl. oh my god i am i mean the first look we had on margot robbie as barbie she already had kind of like a vintage look going on very cutesy with the big bracelet um with the blue the head the little scarf or headband in her hair and then the, like it already looked kind of like retro right but this outfit just takes it to a whole new level this is giving me 70 late 70s pink era barbie totally like she those those flared bottoms those flared pants are you kidding me and not only are they flared honey no 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 they have like little like shimmery stars on them and then um the top is separate and the top is like a little vest top kind of has like a collar up top and it, you can see kind of like buttons down it's so snug on her it looks stunning i love that the pants are also like high-waisted like as you do honey as you do as you should as you should those are high-waisted it looks so snug it look it's basically no midriff like it all just like it looks like one piece if i hadn't seen a midriff like a little bit of skin like i would have thought this like one piece but no it's two pieces and we live for it and not only that but she's wearing some really cute heels cute shoes so probably let's be honest some probably some cowboy boots let's be honest here pretty sure and if that were the case i love it even more um and not only that but like behind on her buttocks on the behind of her pants she has some big stars on her bottom <laughs> do you see this this is iconic this is iconic this is what i'm living for this is what i want from a tell barbara <laughs> i can't speak this is what i want from a barbie live action movie i want outfits like this and satire and comedy give it to me all please and i can see already that we are going to get all of it i i'm so confident now i was confident before but now just seeing this one outfit i'm confident all the outfits are going to look stunning and the co comedy the satire the, everything is going to be so on point and i cannot wait i could not wait i could not wait before now i definitely cannot wait can someone invent a time machine so i can skip time because i don't want to wait i cannot wait it's not feasible to me my, to my mind is not working it's not computing i'm broken they have broken me this outfit has broken me <laughs> now not only is the outfit on point i also love what they did with her hair it looks like in some pictures she looks like she has like loose hair but in other pictures like here we can see the side profile which by the way i mean margot robbie is a beautiful human being but just look at this like look at this it's all it's she's barbie she's literally barbie she is a real life barbie doll perfect casting has never been so perfect before than right here in this instant in this moment in right now i mean this is just perfect Mwah. chef's kiss couldn't ask for more um but <laughs> back to what i was saying um we can see she has a braid here she kind of has like, like a like a loose braid so i'm thinking perhaps because there is a car chase a car car chase that perhaps um the braces the braid is gonna like fall out or something i don't know the braid here looks cute in the in the other pictures where the hair looks loose it looks cute either way i don't care it looks cute her hair is on point and not only that but she's also wearing like a little uh necktie oh my god i am living for this i love that they gave her a little necktie it really just makes it feel more like a cowboy girl outfit i'm living i'm living for it so badly oh my god um that's something i did myself sometimes you know just like in a little necktie it's so cute it's so easy so simple but it's so cute and it adds a little touch of a little print um and it's it just elevates the whole look even more um because she doesn't have much jewelry on so this really helps it out um and also she does have she's carrying a bag in some of these pictures so don't know if that's like the actual bag in a movie or if that's just like a bag she's using to you know move her things around but either way also the bag the bag itself also fits into this whole context like it just it looks 
it all looks so stunning. Are you kidding now, me? Now let's get back to the uh, aforementioned car chase. So as we can see here, this is Margot getting into a car, a vehicle, um, and this is also being filmed in Long Beach. Obviously, like I mentioned before, it's it's on specific uh, parts of the street where they usually film like car commercials, apparently, um, as they explain it. And this is also like maybe like a minor spoiler. Um, so the story goes, I guess, that it was like a uh, black tint tinted like a black tinted vehicle that was like Mattel security chasing someone chasing after someone so maybe I don't I don't know maybe Barbie's escape <laughs> I don't know like what the story even is so this just confuses me more but again my confidence is still very high um even just knowing there's a car chase scene that's exciting alone so like I don't even need to think about it too much for uh more than that just like this is um, this is exciting it's amazing exciting stunning i'm living i'm here for it this is i mean it yeah come on barbie in a car chase and she's wearing that outfit come on thanks <laughs> right away for that tiktok of margot i mean yeah again just she's stunning i cannot get enough jesus christ um anyways the co the cost whoever is a costume designer is on point like give him a raise seriously but moving on we have our first look at the new barbie extra five pack remember we had a five pack earlier and this five pack there's also going to be another exclusive doll in the five pack um the same thing like they did with the uh, first five pack that doll was really precious she looked really cute and this doll who's exclusive in this new five pack she's really cool looking as well cool like literally because she's like a ice girl i mean look at her <laughs> thanks to at a plastic tan on instagram for these pictures so yes uh this is the exclusive doll in the five pack um i like at first like first time i saw her i was like wow like dang she is a stunning i i feel like le like fluffy leg warmers are so in right now and the fact she's wearing like blue fluffy leg warmers and then like imagine kind of blue shade of like a two-piece um top and skirt with like pay uh, with like white polka dots and the fabric is shimmery like that's just so iconic i love this outfit on her the baby blue with the tan skin tone and then her like platinum blonde hair with like really light light streaks of blue like is it just me it looks like blue almost and she also has a cap um and she has a little belt as well some jewelry i love the jewelry and a purse as well in the same kind of yellowish translucent uh, uh material like the belt like the fanny pack um she's even wearing some like white stockings underneath the skirt they're very hard to see but it's like she's definitely wearing some kind of stockings um and underneath the leg warmers she is wearing some type of white heel very basic but i mean she is like obviously giving abby right abby bob and Abel from monster high she has the leg warmers and uh she made them i feel like she's just like the go-to like when you think of leg warmers i think of abby right and like she's rocking these leg warmers as well Oh my god, I love them so much. I love her whole look. It's really a shame that she's going to be exclusive to this five pack with these other four dolls, which I mean, I don't have any of them. So I guess I could get the five pack and it wouldn't be like, because I would get new dolls like overall, I wouldn't get repeats. But still, like she's like the main highlight. It's like the, it's like the previous five pack. She was the highlight. And for this new five pack, she's also the highlight. She's just she is the moment she is the only one i'd want right now um with barbie extra and also the um barbie extra 14 with the, like barbie um logo across right i want her too and then i also want the barbie extra fancy one with the pink ball gown i want her too like these three are the ones i need right now they're so stunning oh yeah of and of course she also comes with her own pet uh this pet mold of a, of the puppy is not new uh they were using it it's just in a different it's a recolor i believe um the new bathtub mold here though and like the translucent pink that's new and it's honestly really cute how the pups just like standing in the bathtub and and they even have like um they they made like a specialized like little uh sunglass piece that, that looks like um like cucumbers resting upon the eyes of the dog that's so cute i love that and they are removable um and yeah i mean i think it's cute the buff the bathtub the the little cucumbers sunglass piece it's cute you know if you're into miniatures i guess we you could kind of use that for something else so not too bad but the actual pet itself is like really boring so oh, yeah and the actual like 
five pack will be available on july 19th more info and price uh coming soon so like i guess the, the definitive price um now the first five pack costs like a hundred over a hundred bucks so that's expensive basically if you just want that one doll that's really expensive so that is really unfortunate um but i i guess i mean i hope they go on sale soon you know maybe i don't know why it's so expensive like i guess because i guess because like every doll costs like 20 bucks like 20 40 60 89 20 40 60 80 yeah so it would be like yeah so like they all cost 20 and so i guess together it makes like 100 and something so that makes sense i guess yeah okay but still it's, it's expensive because you're paying more for basically just one doll if that's the only doll you want so it's just kind of it's kind of thanks dumb. to at papusina.mele for these pictures now uh we have a new set here with lila a character from the new um life in the city barbie movie because the barbie series is called it takes two and that's on netflix so i guess it's like a it's like a movie i don't know um but lila here she's a new character i guess she's on a curvy body i believe and she comes with some accessories um overall the clothing's okay i feel like the the, the highlight here is definitely her face up um those eyes that that face mold like the lips it's, it's really crisp i love it i love her little smile um yeah and i think her pants are really cool too with that print um on it and she even has like headphones and stuff like yeah cool accessories honestly really not too next bad next up we have a new barbie brooklyn playset here with a barbie brooklyn doll and a little uh chelsea doll and it's the it's an ice skating playset so it comes with like a little like a little bench um some ice skates a little toolbox or something and even like a little drink um so yeah really cute you know nothing too special it's kind of weird how on the background of the bench it's it's like oh here's a view of the city like but how would that make sense for it to be on a bench? So I don't know. We also have this new fashion pack for Barbie Brooklyn. It comes with a hat, the dress, the bag. It doesn't come with the doll, uh, but the boots, sunglasses, and the like little um, picnic blanket and all of that. that that's really cool so a lot of accessories really um really practical if you are that kind of person who needs like food stuff for your bar barbie house or whatever so really some good now stuff we've already here. seen one of these in an earlier video but now we have pictures of all three of the new barbie color reveal totally neon fashions uh set so here we have one character here we have the character that i showed in a previous video um and they all come with pets ha uh, accessories hair uh, clothing and even in the bucket as well and um the, she hears the one that we actually don't have a picture of the doll but just the artwork so three new characters here for the barbie neon color reveal um they just they're a little too bright for me you know what i mean like i get it's neon but it just seems like maybe if you if they just focus for on one color for each doll or like two it would be less like in your face you know what i mean but i don't know maybe that's just lastly me. <laughs> we also have our very first look at another barbie david bowie uh doll so that's really cool i fit because we've already had a one and so this is the second barbie david bowie doll so this looks really awesome but yeah huh? that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below let me know what you thought of this video and all that we talked about and as always don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more barbie doll news barbie movie news a bunch more content coming your way daily and of course keeping updated with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses